So here's our first example. We'll, we'll start with one that's relatively simple. We're given a region in this case, right? So we're told that x varies between 0 and 4 pi. Over that region, the two curves, sine x plus 2 um, and half cos 2x minus 1. So that's f of x, sorry, g of x is down here. Okay. Um, those curves stay separated, right? They don't come together at any point. They don't cross. They don't meet. So we've got this clear, well-defined area that's in between them. And there's no confusion as to which is the upper curve, which is the lower curve. And by the way, you should generally draw the picture so you can see, right? So if you can s sketch the graphs, you should, right? Um, now, over here we set this up, we said g of x minus f of x, but you know, the letters aren't important. What's important is which curve is on top and which curve is on the bottom. This time f and g, they have opposite roles. So simply a matter now of setting up the integral, saying area is going to be the integral from 0 to 4 pi, okay? Top minus bottom. So we're going to do sine x plus 2 subtract 1 half cos 2x minus 1. Okay. And we integrate with respect to x. Might as well clean it up a little bit before we do that integral. So 0 to 4 pi, we've got sine x minus 1 half cos 2x, and then 2 minus minus 1 becomes 2 plus 3. And we integrate with respect to x, right? So the antiderivatives are relatively straightforward. We have negative cos x. Um, here, it's a simple u substitution, right? You can probably do these ones in your head by now. Uh, you're going to get an extra 1 half, so we're going to get minus 1 quarter sine 2x plus 3x. And in this particular instance, actually, if you mess up something here with the trig functions, it's not going to matter because we're going from 0 to 4 pi, right? Um, so at least this term here, right, sine is equal to 0 at multiples of pi, so we don't even have to worry about it. Um, we just have to pay attention to this, this term here. Okay, um, and even then, right, um, 0 to 4 pi is a complete cycle. Cosine is going to have the same value at 0 that it has at 4 pi, right? So the contribution from this term also cancels out. So actually all we've got to really worry about is plugging in the values for x here. And so with the work, you can see that the answer should be 12 pi.